Let me first thank the Uber for coming out voluntarily in order to support uh, this pandemic activities relating to the health sector. Uh, as I understand that you all have offered uh, 60,000 uh, rides uh, free of charge for the health activists, uh, people who are involved in the uh, health sector, particularly active workers. I take this opportunity to thank even the uh, staff of mine, starting from consultants to the doctors and to the nursing staff and to the minor staff of the entire health sector uh, for doing a extremely, in fact, a complete tireless job without making a hum, without making any demands. Uh, I'm very appreciative of all of them and then add to it this Uber's assistance in form of these free rides and various other facilities that are offered are greatly appreciated and I'm very thankful to both parties. One is the Uber organization for coming out in a time where uh, you need assistance from all quarters you without any hesitation. I'm also thankful that I know this program was uh, planned out uh, by the, till the end of September and I met them and I made a request for an extension and they bat in an eyelid uh, they said okay on uh, my request they, uh, they are prepared to extend it till the end of the year which is another three months time and I suppose that's an enormous amount of monetary value that is attached to it. I also understand uh, International Uber is in conjunction with the Sri Uber Sri Lanka and the Red Cross is uh, partners in this entire uh, of, uh, assistance that I offered to us. Once again, I thank all of them, all the people involved, including Red Cross and the Uber Sri Lanka, for this magnanimous gesture by giving us, giving our people a free rides uh, to a, a very high value of monetary value. Thank you so much.